Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke Can't See 77 Canada for the third video, third video today. Why are we doing another video to my ass? Well, I have a cigar review for you guys in our cigar review. Anyway, this is the cigar review we're doing right now. Okay. We have the Florida Olivia Toro 6x50. So it's a Toro Natural. Okay. This is the uh, Toro Natural. So, anyway, it's very hot outside. So forgive me if I'm a little off right now. It's very hot. Um, it's the 80s right now. Anyway, so the Florida Olivia Toro. 6x50, so it's about this long, it's a Toro size, which I think I explained, it's it's a bit smaller than a Churchill. Anyway, the first third is wood, tobacco, cedar, oak, earth, medium body, and one touch-up. So you first light up, you get a very nice um, blast of um, tobacco, earthiness, maybe a little bit of pepper, not a lot of pepper, uh, a little bit of an oaky flavor, which is very hard to de detect, but um, it's a little bit of an oaky flavor. Some wood, some cedar. It required one little touch up. Not bad. Now, let's see. The second third is cedar, wood, sweet, earth, syrup, tobacco, medium bodied, nutty, and one touch up. Okay, so you had more cedar, more wood, which is a really nice flavor. And no, don't be a smart ass. I haven't actually licked a piece of cedar or wood. You can equate smells and taste in your mind. So, and by that I mean you don't actually have to lick a piece of cedar to know what it tastes like you can equate the smell of cedar in your mind to the taste of it because you know what it smells like. You get some sweetness in the second third, you get some syrup-like taste, I'm not, gonna, not like a maple syrup, but um, some syrupiness. <laughs> Did it sound right? <laughs> so, and excuse me, it's my colostomy. Um, you, you get some nuttiness, especially in the, in the very tail end of the, last third, of the second third, you get more nuttiness, or some nuttiness. One touch-up, so another touch-up, so not the best bird in the world, but they're probably are worse. Oh, they are worse. Definitely. So, uh, last third is warm smoke, nutty, tobacco, cedar, wood, sweet, medium bodied, one touch up. So, you, you get that typical warm, nutty smoke in the last third. You get a uh, nuttiness, tobacco, cedar, wood, and you get that sweet flavor also. It did require a third touch up, which is not bad, but these touch ups are very, very minor. They're not big ones. They're just tiny little touch ups with the lighter, which is when you take your, um, lighter and you just uh, strike the, the thing, you know, the cigar, to touch up the bird. Anyway, so, and um, not the best bird in the world, but there are a lot worse cigars. I'm not faulting the cigars, probably because it was in the mail and um, it hasn't alchemy in the humidor yet. Um, because I smoke my cigars pretty soon after, the, soon after they come. So, uh, overall strength, mild, mild uh, strength overall, very low strength, um, hardly any, any nicotine, but, it, but obviously it has nicotine. Uh, strong tobacco aroma, so very strong smell, but a pleasant smell overall. Um, good burn. It required three minor touch-ups, but um, that's uh, my cat. Um, three minor touch-ups. That's not bad. Um, it lasted just under an hour. Oh, sorry, just under an hour and ten minutes. I apologize for that. And I'm just going to let my cat into my room, okay? If you mind. Okay. Oh, my cat wants to come out of my room. I have a cat over there, so come on, Nikki. Okay, I'm sorry for the cat interruption. That's the cat I have. Uh, my three cats. I watch the cat in my room. Um, so just under an hour and ten minutes, which is very good. Most of ours nowadays are meant to last under an hour, and uh, that's very good burn time. Burn time. Uh, overall, very good. Loose straw, mild strength, nice smell, decent burn, very good burn time. Wood, cedar, oak, earthy, sweet, syrup, tobacco, medium bodied, three minor touch ups, nutty, warm smoke, and last third. I would give it a 9 out of 10 for rating. It's a very good um, smoke overall. I mean, very good cigar. It had, did require three minor touch ups, but that's not bad. <clears throat> I mean, pretty damn decent cigar. It has some really nice flavors. So, if you're looking for a nice cigar, try it out. These are very cheap, by the way. These Florida Olivia's on pipesandcigars.com are, I believe, between $2.50, $2.50, and like $6 for the big one, the big gigantic one. It's like giant. So, not bad. I'm going to give it a 9 time for rating. This, is, this has been the Florida Olivia Toro 6x50, so about this long and this wide. Anyway, give me a thoughts, comment, subscribe, press press if you want to. And I apologize for the noise in the background. I apologize for the cat meowing, like, wow. So... Bye.